Now the 2011 assessed value brought it up to $536,000 and that brings it to an assessment percentage of about 88%. You say why isn't it 100% of full market value? Well, I still think you know, there is some potential that there may be some weakness in that, in that segment of the market and I try to build that in looking at not just one sale because this isn't California and we don't have Proposition 13 that you don't all of a sudden assess the properties instantly for what they sell for. So what I do is ultimately mass appraisal and I'm trying to use a lot of data to figure out the value for a lot of properties and not looking at one house and using three sales like you would on a single family home appraisal and knowing what that exact value was for that property. So I try to, uh, I try to give you an idea as to what the weight is on that. I had another home that sold on Oakhurst in 2010. It was assessed at 221000 It went up to, or it sold for 327500 The assessment percentage was 67.5%. Now this year it's going to 321600 with a ratio of 98% of full market value. Uh, in Brentwood, for instance, on Phillip Road, a house was at $210,000 assessment last year with a sale price of 250. So that is actually at 80%. That's greater than the median. This house will most likely see its taxes go down this year as a result of it being overvalued with a new assessment of 237.1. Pilot Point Road had a home and what, with a water view and it sold, at, uh, sold for 689, was assessed at 535.3 and it's gone up to 633.3. So it's changed, changed that gap, but it'll actually see its taxes go down as a result of it. Uh, in Broad Cove, for instance, which has been, uh, a, in my opinion, a neighborhood in town that has actually been undervalued, uh, I'm sorry, paying more than its fair share for at least three to four years. This house here sold, for instance, for, uh, for 310,000 with an assessment of 266.3. And now it's going to be assessed at 299.6. It's actually it was assessed before at 86%. Now it's going to be at 97%. So I'm trying to just to show you how it across town, ultimately what we're trying to do is balance that equity. You can see I gave you a couple of prime examples of where the equity was out of balance and other areas of town where it was out of balance. And, and in one neighborhood, Brentwood, for instance, where it was pretty darn close to, to being in balance. So yeah, some we're going to see the property taxes go up, some will see them go down, and some will see them stay up the same. <laughs> A few, uh, a few more final points before I wrap up. Uh, the assessment system has been upgraded, uh, meaning that the cost tables have been updated to the current cost schedules. I use a, uh, a company called Marshall Valuation, which is a national, uh, national valuation estimating book, and use that to update my cost, my cost tables within my software and try to bring up what the cost of, to reproduce or uh, replace a house, not reproduce it, but to replace it. Um, so that brought that up, the cost here was by about 20%, more or less on your average home. And land values were updated based on the current sales. So what I did was analysis in every, on, in every neighborhood, on every map, I looked at every sale that took place over. I had, had a basis of 350 sales, but that expanded to well over 400 sales because I had to expand my time period and some, others, uh, some other uh, parts of the analysis. I actually found that 2004-2005 market was very similar to today's market versus 2006 and 2007 where I think prices really ramped up, uh, saw the most growth. So I, I may look at those sales, but I, did, I would discount them in the, in the event that I saw that that was all I had. So I tried to figure out what the factor of, of the discount rate should be. Now, we do have the new values and they are posted on the assessment page. I had a problem for about a day and a half with getting those booted up to the online search engine, but they are there. I verified that again, uh, much to my chagrin and apologies that they didn't come on when I anticipated them to, but uh, electronics are a great thing. Sometimes they are not, uh, but, but they are out there now. We also have our maps and our database available online, so if folks want to go and look at their assessment, look at their property, look at their neighbor's property, look at a property across town that has no relevance whatsoever to their assessment, go for it. We want to have that out there. Uh, everything I do, we try to have it in a clean and open book, so it, it's open to public scrutiny. And then um, I would, one recommendation I would come out from this experience and looking at the amount of change that may have to take or does take place between properties is I'd recommend doing this probably more in a three to four year interval uh, rather than waiting. I know this, this is kind of an extreme case because the market took off and came back, so you kind of had 
you know, eerily similar to back six years ago, uh, but I'm really glad I didn't do it in 07 because we'd be back, I would be doing it today, revising it. A couple of towns are doing that right now, and, and Wyndham and Freeport have, have revised their assessments. So I think we're in good stead as far as their overall, but I think going forward it'd be best to do them on a more regular basis because then the, the extremes and the changes aren't, aren't as much. Now, uh, my schedule for this was for the past year plus. I did uh, my analysis computer entry. Uh, I did my review and analysis over the past 13 months. On May 1st, I set the values for what they're going to be uh, for, the, for the notices. We mailed the notices on the 5th. Uh, informal hearings are going to begin on the 24th, and all my notices show the number that they can call to schedule appointments, and our support staff is more than willing and happy to do it. And then in August, we'll go to commitment with the final values. Finally, I'd like to just, uh, you know, I'm the assessor, but I have a couple of ladies who work in our office. I share happily with the planner and with the code enforcement officer. Uh, Anik Ogarati is our office manager, and Janet Moran is also our support staff. And uh, they do uh, a lot of great work, and they're happy to schedule appointments for anybody who'd like to get in and take a look at that. So with that being said, uh, thank you very much, and I'd be happy to take any questions. Matt, thank you very much for uh, that summary. Uh, I think normally the council may have questions, but I, I, I'm mindful of the fact that we have a lot of people here to, to speak on uh, the Shore Road pathway and other issues perhaps. But before we let Matt go, does anybody have any questions now that I've thoroughly discouraged them? <laughs> well, email. No, I, just a comment. Go ahead, Jim. I think, that, I think the review with an eight-year disparity here and having that length of time, uh, there are states like Massachusetts that require by state law every three years to look at your assessment. So I, I think, it's, I think it's, a, it's wise for us to, to consider that as a, as, a, as a going forward plan because, uh, you know, these disparities, they're in certain sections of town or enormous. I think it's, for planning purposes, for all of us, you know, I think it, it's closer to, to a three-year time frame. I think it's going to be the best interest of citizens here in Cape Elizabeth. And we're very fortunate to have uh, you available to do these in-house, so we're not incurring that uh, expense. So again, thank you for all your uh, hard work on this, Matt. No, happy to. It's, it's going to be great. Uh, it's a great experience. And I, I just want to reinforce the fact that assessing an appraisal of real estate is not an exact science. <laughs> it's very much uh, a, a fluid discipline, if you will, if you can call it a discipline, and it's something that I know that I didn't come pre-programmed with all the answers to what properties are worth in the town of Cape Elizabeth. Uh, I've got a pretty good feeling what my own house is worth, and I think a lot of folks who live in the town have a really good feeling for what their houses are worth. So I welcome the hearings because it's like having an additional 9,000 eyes on, on a product that I came forward with, and I, I relatively don't take my feelings uh, uh, gently. So it's. It's, uh, it's good, but I look forward to the hearing process and moving forward. But I thank you very much for having me. Thanks a lot, Matt.